Hi girlies, how are we all doing? Hello, happy Monday, new week. Sorry, I'm coming at you with a very, very fresh face today. Um, I just thought, you know what? Let's do a little makeup live. I haven't done uh, one of these in quite some time. So um, yeah, I've got all my, my faves laid out right now, including some new products. I've just given myself a little bit of a spray with the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge. I'm just going to wet my sponge already. Uh, this, this is nice. A nice little skincare spray. It's not, you know, not really used for prolonging your makeup, but more for just giving your skin a little bit of a glow, a little bit of a refresh. Oh, it is a really nice mist. Um, how is everyone doing? How's everyone's weekends? We have a little bit of freedom in the UK, so let me know what you guys got up to. Did you go out? Did you eat out? Like, going to a restaurant is a real treat now. <laughs> um, let me just make sure, actually, that my Wi-Fi is off my phone because that will slow down the connection here. Okay, yes, we are good. Put my phone on silent. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Chloe. Evening, girls. So glad I've made this week's live. Hope you're all well. Thank you for coming on, Chloe. It's really nice to hear from you. Um, girly, thank you for coming on Zoom. It was nice to see you. Hi, Debbie. Uh, hi, Caroline. How are you? Um, oh, Joanna, didn't miss anything. Went to go and grab dinner. What have you got for dinner? I've got my cuppa. You haven't missed anything. I've just been saying my hellos <laughs> and just raving about this. Have you tried it? It's so nice as a skincare spray, the um, Clinique Moisture Surge. So I just use that to kind of, because I was getting really hot. So I've used that to, um, yeah, take down the redness. <laughs> Oh, hello girls. Hi, Ali. We're all okay. Thank you. Um, I'm good. You're, Joanna, you're eating your cottage pie. I love cottage pie. Like when I want a real like homely meal, that is what I will have. Can't beat cottage pie. <laughs> um, what did everyone get up to this weekend? What have we been doing? What have we been watching? Oh my gosh, started watching Flight Attendant. Has anyone watched it? <laughs> Girls. I mean, I didn't expect the little um, plot twist, like 20 minutes in. I wasn't expecting that at all. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, but I think I'm, yeah, two episodes in. It's very strange. <laughs> um, Ali was brave and went to Primark. I saw um, the queues at Primark looked wild um, from people queuing from like 5 a.m. But Ali said it wasn't as bad as you expected it to be, which is good. Um, Oh, Joanna, I forgot to tell you, I booked Galgorm for October. <gasps> Galgorm is the most incredible spa in Ireland. Oh, it is literally like, I don't know, just bliss. It is the most incredible spa I've ever been to. So I'm very jealous you're going there in October. Right, I am going to get some makeup on my bare face. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go for a nice, like, little light, dewy base. Can you tell what this is? If you're an OG, you will recognize this product. <laughs> um, it is honestly one of my favorite products and I don't think I will ever stop loving it, to be honest. Um, I thought I was really organized with laying everything out, but I, ah, there it is. Um, Oh, Debbie, you've booked the Lighthouse Spa. I love Life Lifehouse. Is that the right, same one? Um, I love Lifehouse Spa. That's another one which is definitely a lot closer than Galgorm. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I'm going to a local spa, that's definitely my favourite. Ali, I went to Chelmsford at 8am. 
to get in only a few in front of me of the two. That's so good. Maybe that's the way forward then. Um, oh, Joanna, I need this. The new Fenty skin tin. I'm going to email the PR actually. Keep forgetting, but I, I need that in, in my life. I haven't received any new Fenty in quite a while. And uh, yeah, I need Joanna. You're, you're on the ball. <laughs> Flawless filter. If you want a dewy makeup look, you cannot go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is actually in shade number five, which I think would probably be a bit better for me when I have got more of a tan to my face. Um, oh, But it's just so good for dewy skin. Uh, let me know what base you want me to put on. Um, do you want to see... I've showed you this up quite a lot though. The Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish, the by Terry. Do you want me to put on the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear? I talked about this on my Instagram yesterday, but I can put it on now if you want to see how to wear it more like dewy. Um, hi Lisa, how are you? How's, how's life in Wales? How are you doing? Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Iconic Lip Oil. Love this. I have already got it on, but just to show you, it's like a rollerball on your lips. It just looks so, so glossy mm, and it smells so good. This is one of my favourite lip oils. I do love the Ciate, but the, the Iconic is really, really nice. Um, Joanna, thank you. I was so happy to work with Estee Lauder. Like, they're like, oh, I love this foundation so much. Maybe should I apply this? We do a little bit of um, Estee Lauder. What do we think? Um, right, let's put, definitely need to invest in the pump <laughs> for this because I always spill it. Um, right, I'm going to apply a little bit of that and then I'm going to put a little bit, I've literally nearly finished this, the Iconic Drops our life. <laughs> I couldn't be without these, but I think I'm running out. So this is in the shade original. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Iconic mixed in with a little bit of my Double Wear and this will just make it super light and glowy. But with Double Wear, you've got the staying power. <clears throat> Oh, my throat. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got the staying power with double wear. So if your makeup melts off quite easily um, in the heat, humidity, um, if you're quite oily, this foundation, guys, it doesn't let you down. Of course, you can really build it up to be super full coverage. But mixed in with a bit of highlight. We've got all the dew, all the glow. You can mix it in with oils, with serums, with primer. Um, it does look gorgeous. Alicia, hello, how are you? How have you been? What have you been up to? I'm just going now in with the collection concealer. Who's got this? The new and improved one. This is Amazing. Um, this is the shade Fair that I'm using. Um, oh, China, tempted to order a backup of the Becca Finishing Val Powder. I mean, I think you're going to have to because it's going to go soon, and we've just found our new favourite pressed powder. So <laughs> I feel like uh, we're going to need to stock up. I'm still in denial that they're going, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to believe it's true. I'm still just hoping that someone's going to buy them and save them. Um. Oh, Ali, I like the Charlotte Tilbury lip oil. See, I'm not really much of a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like, it's okay, but I definitely prefer the uh, Iconic and the Ciate. Um... Uh, Lisa, Wales is pretty much the same. No hospitality open yet. I really hope for you that they open soon. Surely it can't be too much longer. 
fingers crossed. Um, no way. Anastasia Beverly Hills are on Boots' website now. I mean, Boots are killing it, aren't they? They have so many brands <laughs> stocked on Boots. I actually never think to look at Boots. Who shops on Boots' website? Maybe I should start including them in the email. I always forget. <laughs> I um, I just go to the classics like Feel Unique, Look Fantastic, Cole. They're like my go-tos. Um, I'm going to go in with this. I've neglected this for a while. And I forgot how much I love it. Got a little Fenty contour stick in truffle. It is a nice cream at bronzer. Buff that in. Um, Alicia, I've just got in from work. I haven't been out for drinks or food yet. It's my birthday on Thursday, so I'm thinking maybe to do something on Friday. I haven't booked anything so last minute. I mean, I think we're just presuming that everywhere will be fully booked, but they're really not. Like, I got a table so last minute um, today. So, yeah, I think you'll definitely get a table, so don't worry. But, yeah, try and get it booked as soon as you can but you will definitely get in somewhere but happy birthday for thursday um definitely make some plans you've got to and the fact that we've got sunshine right now amazing sunshine for your birthday yes um hi jennifer how are you how have you been oh i forgot how much i love this cream bronzer favorite Ever. Um, let's go in. I don't know if I've tried this. I might have. I feel like I probably have, but I just can't remember. Um, this is, I think I have, the Dewy Blush, the Glossy Cheek Tint by Ciate. This is in the shade Papaya. I mean, I love all their other products, so I've got a feeling I'm gonna like this. And I do like a cream blush oh, this is nice this really is like glossy skin it feels like more of a um, serum kind of texture that's nice isn't it um do i already have a list of people i want to go out for lunch and dinner with i mean i'm just a bit overwhelmed it's like the fact that we can go out now like i haven't even made plans but i feel like now i uh I really need to, you know, like I need to make the most of this. And I was saying to the girls before, I feel like we just need to make the most of it because, I mean, we just ne never know if we're going to be put back into restrictions. So I think let's make the most of it as long as we can. Um, that's really nice. And, oh, it smells like sweets. It's so nice. Yes, Joanna, I have my huge QVC box right next to me. Um, so I'm gonna film that for Wednesday's video. Um, I'm so excited to trial the products. So um, to be fair, I've got some products that I already know I love because I just made the most of stocking up while they gave me the voucher. But there is definitely some new products that I haven't tried. So I will get filming that. Um, that blush is nice, but I'm gonna go now in, who watched this video? The brand new by Terry. Such a pretty, pretty palette. Look at these shades. This corally shade is stunning. So each year by Terry always bring out a limited edition uh, face palette and they do go quickly. So they are selling out quite quick online. Uh, but this is what this one looks like. It's the Beach Balm. This shade is just gorgeous and they all smell like the Balm de Rose scent. So if you've tried the lip balm, you will know just how good it smells. So I'm just going to take the Coralie shade. Oh, that's nice. And a little bit on the nose. Oh, it looks so fresh. And then a little bit of this bronzer. And set that. Hi, Lauren. How are you? How stunning is this palette, Caroline? It is so pretty. And I think just for your handbag as well, like this is going in my handbag. <laughs> um, oh, just looks so gorgeous. And 
all the shades are a little bit not shimmer but like light reflective so they just make your skin look so glowy um oh joanna caroline getting super excited for you it's not long guys until caroline is gonna be a mrs i'm very very excited i cannot wait for the day um i just think it's gonna be incredible excited for you i'm gonna see caroline in a wedding dress like walking down the aisle it's gonna be so surreal um i'm just going in with a bit of this highlight right now let's go in with a little bit of legendary brows from charlotte tilbury so this will just give me a little bit of color flick these brows up I can't say I I've definitely been reaching for my benefit pencil more than the Charlotte Tilby one I'm not really a fan of the the pencil it doesn't wear very well on me it seems to just yeah fade quite weird <laughs> um so I think I'm going to be sticking to my benefit but I do really like these um gels cute <laughs> Um, no, Joanna, I didn't spill the gossip. Did you see the drama that Benefit got into this week? Please tell us. Um, now this is the brow fix, which I've really been enjoying. Nice flicked up brow. It does glide through the brows really, really nicely. A little glossy brow. I can't wait to get my brows done, guys. I need to book it in and sort it out. <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's overdue. It's needed. I'm gonna go in with a bit of my Fenty, but just like a tiny, tiny bit, um, just to set my makeup. But the butter oh, loose powder is one of my favourite loose powders ever. Um. Shelly, Joanna has a scoop on everything. I know, I feel like I've missed out. What's gone on with Benefit? You have to spill. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, let's just take a tiny little bit on a brush like this just to set the under eyes because we don't want to take away like all of this glowiness and dewiness that we've put into the skin um, by mattifying it too much. So just a little bit, I would highly rate this Fenty powder. It's just the best. Um, and this butter shade is similar to Laura Mercier Honey. So if you've got a medium skin tone like me, it is so good. Let's just set that all down. Okay, apparently they turned away NHS staff at their brow bars because They've been in contact with the C word, <laughs> patients. They've amended the policy now, but lots of people kicking off about it. What? Did not hear about that. Benefit. That is not good at all. Um, that's really bad. And the fact that I got out on social as well, they must have uh, realised they'd done wrong. Um... I'm going to use the palette for my eyeshadow because this just looks so pretty on the eyes. Like the little oh, shimmer, like glowy iridescence looks so, so pretty on the lids. So this, I, I just think this is a palette that you will get so much use out of. Like you can wear it for full glam, you can wear it day to day, face, eyes, you can kind of use it for everything it just looks so pretty yeah and then a little bit underneath i just love how they smell <laughs> they smell so good oh gosh yeah that's true they normally are a drama free brand that is um, mental. 
I'm going to go in with my precisely my brow, my little freckles. I love doing little freckles. I think it just makes a dewy look, look so fresh. Um, very jealous of you guys that were born with freckles because we all want your freckles. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just think it looks so cute in summer. So I always just press the um, little freckles into the skin so then it just looks a little bit more natural. Um, so cute. What shade is this? This is shade number four that I use. Nice. Now let's go in with a little bit of mascara. What's your favourite mascara right now? I mean, I'm just kind of using them all, but I, I, on the topic of benefit, I am really enjoying the Magnet mascara. I think I've probably used the Maybelline more, um, but. I do like them both. For pushing up the lashes like this. This is a nice full lash look with this mascara. The only thing I don't like is how like stiff the wand is. I do like a more flexible wand, which you do get with the Maybelline. Um, do I know I'll be like a new woman during next week's live once I get my hair done? I'm very excited for you. And also very jealous. I need my hair done so bad. <gasps> Mascara is just my favourite thing ever. I don't get people that don't love mascara. It just hauls a, a makeup look together, doesn't it? It's so pretty. I love this mascara. Kind of gives you that dull eyed look. I love this makeup and this is something like obviously I'm chatting through everything but if I wasn't this would literally take me 10 minutes max um then I've really been liking I know I did complain <laughs> in my video about um the Charlotte Tilbury what, what are these called the happy kiss I think the happy kiss lip balms they are super messy like look at that I'm not gonna lie that the packaging is really messy but for how they make your lips look oh they just look so glossy so this is in the shade pillow talk which is a universal shade that we all love <laughs> can't go wrong with pillow talk uh, but this is so gorgeous It's a bit messy though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's a spot. I was thinking, how's that got down there? I've got a nice, I always get a spot on my lip and they're always the most painful, aren't they? Um, but apart from that, my skin is actually looking pretty good this week, so can't complain. <laughs> um, Lisa, I have the Sky High to try, but enjoying the new Bare Minerals at the moment um, and love the Pillow Talk Mascara. Uh, it's a good mascara. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, <laughs> Jenna, to be fair, surely you love every part of your makeup. Yeah. Mm, I do love doing every part of my makeup, but that my mascara is definitely my desert island product. Like I couldn't be without my mascara. What would you guys take? Desert island product, you could only take one makeup product, what would it be? I would have to take mascara. I'd have to. Um, Alicia, my eyelashes never grow, but when they do grow, but when they do, they grow straight, never go upwards. So annoying. Oh, bless you. Just eyelash curlers all the time. <laughs> I love me eyelash curlers. Um, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of oh, the moisture surge. Oh, honestly, it's the most refreshing spray ever. So, so nice. Lisa, you would take mascara too. Love that. <laughs> Fan this down. 
So yeah, this would literally take me 10 minutes to do this whole makeup if I wasn't chatting through it. What has it took me? Yeah, only 20 minutes um, chatting through it. So yeah, little glowy, dewy makeup look with my fave products. Um, oh, thank you, Chloe Highlight. Oh, does it look nice? I love that with this palette, it's not... Like, don't get me wrong, I love my Fenty highlight, but you can you can tell that I've got highlighter on. Whereas with this, it's more just like a glow to the skin rather than boom highlight, if that makes sense. Um, it just looks really, really natural, so great on all um, ages as well, because it doesn't like sink in or accentuate any fine lines or anything like that. Um, I love by Terry such a beautiful brand um Chloe I've just realized what you said highlight is your desert island product I thought you were saying about this highlight um really would that be a desert island product I just don't think that yeah I mean I do love my highlight don't get me wrong but I feel like I would look a bit weird if I only had highlight on my face um like, if I don't wear base makeup, I don't actually wear highlight. Um, but, yeah, we all need highlight in our life. <laughs> Lisa, I bought the Lottie London lip balm. It's lovely. I don't think I've ever tried that. I love Lottie London. I think they do really, like, good quality um, makeup. I love their blush, but it's so annoying because for some reason, I don't know whether it's just me, and the ombre blush I always seem to break the packaging so the um lid of it has come off so I just have to keep it safe otherwise it just gets really dirty so I've like wrapped it up in cling film um so I don't know why that always happens to me <laughs> um oh Lisa you did that's why I bought it oh <laughs> honestly my brain when did I try that Lottie London lip balm? The lip oil? No, the lip balm. Oh, the intense one, the little pot. Yes. The um, lip mask balm. Really, really nice. I think I've got that here. Yeah, super rich and nourishing, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was the overnight lip mask. Yeah, sorry, when you said lip balm, I was thinking, hmm, I can't picture that. But yeah, the little pots, don't they smell amazing as well? Um, Caroline, mine would have to be lip balm. What's your favourite lip balm? I actually couldn't decide my favourite lip balm. I have too many, but eight hour cream has got to be up there. By Terry Balm de Rose, hundred percent got to be up there. That Lottie London one is really nice. Lauren, I love highlight. I love having dewy and glowy skin. I feel like that's what we all want, isn't it? Like I can't imagine going back to full on matte makeup. Just love all the glow and the dew. <laughs> um. Yeah, really lovely, Lisa. Oh, it makes me so happy when you guys um, tell me your fav um, like the products that you've got through my recommendations. It honestly like means so much. Um, Caroline, I've no idea. I've got so many eight hour or Clarins lip oil. Oh, I haven't tried that one. Or maybe just a good old fashioned Vaseline. Can't go wrong. To be fair, <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> Um, aww. what is everyone up to this week? I've actually done that makeup look very quickly. I didn't expect to uh, finish it that quick. <laughs> I didn't even bring any, um, no, I didn't even bring any um, new parcels in to unbox. I didn't think I'd have time. Sorry, girls. I've got the QVC one, but I want to save that for the video. So I feel like if I show you all it now, then doing the video would be pretty pointless. <laughs> I've got a hair somewhere. Um, also, the email, I was speaking to Joanna, and because of the deals that I do within the email subscription, 
Um, it just works out that I end up spending my Sunday at the computer doing the um, email. So I think what I'm going to do is what I've done today and do the email on a Monday, if that's okay. Um, because then I feel like, yeah, I can, it would be better working because otherwise I end up just working all day on Sundays. Um, and now that we can go out a little bit, I definitely want to try and uh, make the most of the weekends. Um, so yeah, if you girls don't mind, it's just annoying because Sister Sunday, I'm so confused. I have a hair on my face somewhere and I can't see it. Um, is it there? No. Um, yeah, I will do the email on a Monday if that's okay. Um, Joanna, the highlight of the week will be a walk on Thursday and getting the car cleaned. Oh my gosh, yes. That is such a shout. I need my car cleaned so bad. Um, and I full on cleaned out my car now. So do you know what? I'm gonna, I, know, I need to write a list. I need to write a list of um, everything I need to do, get it out of my head. Um, but that's definitely one of them. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. Can't wait to have a nice clean car again. It just makes such a difference, doesn't it? Um, Hi Sue, how are you? Um, oh, sorry for my absence from here. I've not felt 100%. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay. And um, I hope you feel better soon. Um, Lisa, interested to see the new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. There's a new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. What? 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 Huh? <laughs> how? Why? What's different? I did not know about this. Um, oh, Debbie, I, <laughs> Debbie, I literally just this second have bought the by Terry Ballet. <gasps> you won't regret it. It is beautiful. Like, cannot tell you how incredible it is. And I love that even though I've been using it quite a bit, you've still got the gorgeous um, embossing in the powders. You know, like sometimes you use a product once and then the packaging is just like ruined. I feel like it still looks really pretty. Um, Lauren, I don't like wearing a full face of matte makeup. Just makes my face look really flat, washed out. Nothing worse than your face looking dry and cakey. I know. But I feel like my skin is in need of just a little bit of time in the sun. Um, my, I don't know. My skin always just feels better once it's been in sun. <laughs> um, so it is feeling a little bit dry at the minute, but to be fair, I'm quite happy. Like I do have some spots underneath the skin here, but in terms of, um, yeah, the spot situation, I feel like we're, we're quite good this week. So I'll take that. I'm praying that I don't come out in spots for Caroline's wedding. You know, that's really not what I want, a huge spot on my face. So um, I've got to make sure that I'm face masking before the wedding I don't want a spot on you on your big day <laughs> Caroline Michael cleaned our cars yesterday what a babe bless him that's why you're marrying him I'm having to go down and get my car washed down the end of the road it's not getting done here so <laughs> Michael bless him oh doesn't it feel nice when you have a nice clean car I don't want to even think about the last time I got my car cleaned. Like it's it was a while ago. Yeah. A a year ago? Oh wow, that sounds bad. I think it was about a year. <laughs> um Ooh Hydrating Shape Tape. Um sorry I've lost I've lost the chat um they are still keeping the original formula it's just an addition um this is exciting I feel like it's quite hydrating the shake tape already but if they can make it more like yeah more lightweight and blendable because it is quite thick isn't it so um yeah, I'm excited to try that. Definitely want to try that. Annoying, I've just, yeah, I have just stocked up on my uh, shape tape with my QVC haul. <laughs> uh, Caroline Daisy gave me a good skincare regime pre-wedding. I said to Caroline, like, 
the best masks, well, because Caroline wanted sheet masks, so I said the best masks that you can get, the name is going out of my head now, I can see it, I can picture it, oh, what, what was it, Caroline, what was the brand, um, it begins with S, does it begin with S, Caroline will put it in here in a minute, um, but yeah, so we've stocked Caroline up on sheet masks, and then I was like, look, I'm not gonna lie, the best um, face mask ever, Selly Star, thank you, Joanna, thank you, you knew what I was on about, <laughs> the best brand of face masks, so Caroline's been doing them um, once a week, once a week or twice a week, um, they are just incredible, like, cannot rave about them enough, but the best mask ever in a tube for me is the Elizabeth um, Arden Provage uh, Detox Peel-Off Mask, it's amazing, especially for, like, here, like, spots under the skin, so I said to Caroline, look, I'm not gonna lie, it's my favourite mask ever, so I'll drop it off to you <laughs> and like use it before the wedding because it's amazing. But Caroline has since now bought one because she loves it that much. So just throwing it out there how good that mask is. It's just oh, incredible. Definitely need it on my skin to be fair. Um, yeah, love that. If you do want a cheaper alternative though, the um, Shiseido. The Shiseido uh, Waso peel-off mask is very, very similar. Um, I don't think it's as good as the Provage one, but if you want a cheaper alternative. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. Looking gorgeous and glowy. Thank you. We've just done a little glowy makeup look. <coughs> so I'll run through what I just used, actually, just in case anyone's joining now. Um, flawless filter as the first step, which we love. Then double wear mixed in with Iconic for a nice dewy, glowy base. Um, the Collection Concealer, love this stuff so much. Uh, the Fenty Contour Stick, the Ciate Dewy Blush, which oh, just looks gorgeous. Glossy cheek tint. Um, and then we went in with the gorgeous brand new by Terry Palette. Oh, so, so good. Um, so yeah, I just used all of these, well, these three. Um, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Lip Balms in Pillow Talk. And I also put the um, By Terry palette on my eyes as well, which looks so nice. Um, so there's also Revlon Candid Glow Foundation. I have, I don't really use anything Revlon now. I used to really, um, like Revlon, but yeah, I don't really use their products anymore. Um, I've picked one up from Amazon, it's superb, so I really recommend. Okay, well, that is a great shout. Yeah, I've, I've kind of dropped off with um, Revlon, so I, I need some new Revlon in my life, I think. Um, oh, Caroline, it is amazing, honestly, incredible. I uh, look fantastic, had 15 pounds off of the mask. Uh, yeah, Lisa, I'll put it on my stories, definitely. Um, or I'll just send you the link. I'll find it. Uh, Sue, do you have any recommendations for mature skin that needs some glow? Bye, Terry. This is the new limited edition palette. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up with this camera, but this highlight, it isn't textured highlight, you know? It isn't a metallic-y or a a real um, pearlescent highlight. It is just a very, very buttery formula that doesn't highlight lines or wrinkles. It just, just melts into the skin like butter. I cannot rave about this enough. Um, like the these formulas from By Terry are definitely what I would use when I'm doing like my mum's makeup. I don't think you can go wrong. Um, and then Charlotte Tilbury, Beauty Light Wand. If you want a liquid highlight, oh, incredible. Would use this on absolutely anyone I do makeup on. Um, I'm going to be doing Caroline's mum's 
makeup for the wedding, this is the highlight that I will definitely be putting on her. The Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand topped with the by Terry will look incredible. Um, flawless filter as well. Love it. Cannot go wrong. Um, oh, thank you, Sue. No worries. Um, yesterday, by Terry Beach Bomb was reduced to £38-ish. Yes. Um, was that on Phil Unique? I did put it on the email subscription today. Um, it is sold out now and look fantastic. So, yeah, it is going. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Revlon's just kind of dropped off the radar, haven't they? I don't feel like I've heard much from them uh, in terms of, like, new products. <laughs> so I'm sold. <laughs> it's so pretty. I can't even tell you. You won't regret it. Because on the eyes as well, it looks gorgeous. It takes two seconds to um, just sweep that over the eyelids. So that's going to be my little go-to at the minute. But I did really like this cream... Blush as well from Ciate. Really, really enjoyed this. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what other products I've got to show you. Oh, I also, does anyone want to see the video on the um, GHD Pro Max Styler? Let me know because I can film that this week if anyone wants to see it. Um, but they have this as well. It's a brand new straight on straight and smooth spray um oh okay so this is a heat protectant as well helps to smooth and defrizz for a sleek look that lasts um spricks four to six sprays to tail dried hair before blow drying and then straighten or spray lightly onto dry hair and work product in with fingers before straightening um Oh, okay, recommended to be used with the GHD Max Wide Plate Styler. There we go. Or the GHD Hot Brush. I don't really use the Hot Brush anymore. I think since I got the Dyson in my life, that's that's what I've been using. But, um, yeah, it gets caught with my extensions. My hair has got so, so long, guys, where my extensions are grown down. So that is where... Uh, that's where my extension is here obviously it was up here that's how much my hair has grown which is mental so yeah I need to uh get my hair sorted ASAP has everyone managed to get into the to the hairdressers I haven't even attempted trying to get a appointment because <laughs> I don't know how far I'll get with that um so I haven't had any appointments I've seen everyone going to get their Nails done, the hair done, going for facials and massages, and I've literally booked nothing. I feel like, yeah, um, everyone's been super organised. <laughs> um, Caroline Rivlon was my first mascara, the red and black packaging. I can't picture the Rivlon mascara. I did like, was it Colour Stay? I think their foundation was. Um, I'm trying to think of the products that I used to use from Revlon. I remember I used to do, um, I used to use the Revlon nail polish, like when I was young. That would be like they had a red. I can't remember what it was called, and that's what I would, I would wear before I found my beloved OVI. Um, Joanna, I see people going to get their nails done. I'm just like, I can still do it on my own. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy to do it on my own. I would like a pedicure though. I feel like that would be a nice treat, getting a proper pedicure. I feel like there's only so much that I can do um, on my own feet. Um, Caroline, the day before the wedding, I'm going all in, just getting the whole works done. Hair, nails, wax. I feel like, I feel like the wax is the day before, is it? Um, Caroline, you need to get out in the sun because <laughs> Caroline, um, when she was doing the garden, got some strap marks on her back <laughs> when it was really sunny and hot. So we need to even those lines out. You've got a couple of weeks. So um, we, we need to sort that out. Sunny's out, get in the garden. 
make sure you've evened your back out. <laughs> um, Joanna, yeah, I would like a pedicure, but would have to make sure they stock OPI. 100%. Um, yeah, I feel like a pedicure would be nice. I just can't wait for a massage. I need a nice massage. Definitely, that's what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like my hay fever is uh, really coming into full flow at the minute. Um, how has everyone's hay fever been? Because that's the only thing that I am not a fan of about this time of year is my hay fever really, really takes over. <laughs> um, Lauren, I have to go for my dinner now. Sorry, I can't stay for the rest of the live. I hope you have a lovely week. Enjoy your dinner and have a lovely week. Um, Alicia, what colour do you have in the flawless filter again? Um, this one is five. I used to wear 4.5, um, but they sent me five, and that's what I've been using. It is, yeah, I think this is one of the darkest ones that they do, but... I feel like you can really get away with wearing most colours with Flora's Filter because it just, just works with everybody's skin tone. Um, but yeah, this one is number five that I've got on now. Um, a hot stone massage is my favourite thing ever. The first time I had a hot stone massage, I was like, I will never get another form of massage again. <laughs> it is oh incredible. I am so with you there. Um, you will be in heaven, Joanna. Caroline, 100%. We need to go on a spa day. I just feel like there's so much I want to do. Um, has anyone been to Jersey? Yeah, I think it's called Jersey. I keep getting um, emails about like Jersey deals. And I feel like it's not that far away, is it, from Essex? I feel like it's about an hour away. Is that right? By boat. Um, and it looks lovely. So I'm thinking maybe a little staycation. Everywhere's probably going to be fully booked, but um, I feel like I need to book a little staycation. Haven't booked anything, guys. And I still don't understand whether we're going to be able to go abroad or not. So do you think we should be booking staycations? Has anyone booked staycations? I know Caroline has. Um, but yeah, I haven't booked anything yet. I did see someone booked um, this, like serviced apartment in London on the Thames this weekend they say they're for the weekend and it just looked gorgeous like it looks so nice being in central London in just like a normal well not normal it was gorgeous apartment right on the Thames so I may be interested to do something like that um Caroline Michael's mum has been there a few times it's really nice but you can apparently go around the island in less than an hour I think it's about an hour's flight. Oh, I didn't realise you had to get a flight. Um, and that sounds like there's not that much to do there. I don't know why I thought that you just go to somewhere near us and you get there by boat. Am I getting confused with something else? <laughs> I thought you'd pick it up from like Morden or something. I don't know. I'm probably getting confused. Um, Jenna, we are planning a staycation for the summer in Northern Ireland. That will be so lovely. Yeah, I feel like I maybe need to start getting organised and booking some things because I want to have things to look forward to. Normally at this point, you know, you know you've got your summer holidays and you know you're going here and going there. I feel like it's really hard at the minute because you just you just want to know you're definitely going to go somewhere. I need to have... I don't know, Caroline. I don't know. Do I mean Mersey? I don't know. Is that where you get it from? I swear you go somewhere and get a boat. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> oh, girls. Right, I am going to um, go and get my dinner, even though, yeah, it, I'm not actually that hungry. This weather makes me want to drink, though. Like, <laughs> I just want to pour a drink when the sun is out like this. It's definitely put me in the best mood. Um, thank you, girls, for coming on here for another hour. A little Monday tradition. Maya is good. Thank you, Lisa. She's really good. Bless her. Um, yeah, she's just in the other 
in the other room. Um, so I just bought the Carly Bible palette for £21. How good of a deal was that? Half price. Um, I'm not sure why it was. Wait, was that the one I put on the email? I feel like it was. Um, if it was, then that one was half price, which was brilliant. Um, so yeah, if you girls haven't seen the email subscription yet, then check your inbox. I sent that out a couple of hours ago. So all of your deals are in there for the week. Um, yeah, have a lovely, lovely week, girls. Thank you so much for coming on. I hope you liked doing a little get ready with me. Um, I'm sure I'll have a lot more blog out actually for next week. So we can do a little blog out unboxing next Monday. Um, Lisa, I've just had chips and cheese. Love it. Yes, that sounds like a vibe. <laughs> um, oh, thank you so, so much, girlies. Alicia, have a lovely week as well. Bye, Caroline. Bye, Joanna. Have a lovely week. Thank you so much for supporting me and always coming on YouTube Lives, girls. It honestly means the world. Um, Sue, could I pick your brains? How to do beach ways with GHD straighteners? Mm, beach waves you could do like the s wave which is where you literally go like this with your hair if you type in s wave on my youtube and then you clamp it like that if you type in s wave on my youtube you'll find that video with the ghd um but it is quite hard to get beach waves to be fair with the uh with the straighteners um but try the s wave because that was fun alicia chloe Lisa, Shelley, thank you so much for coming on here. Have a lovely week, girls. Love you all. And I will see you next Monday. Bye. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Bye.